insert space gag here. Ratchet reporting. I'm on fire. Yeah, 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 that's nice. Okay, hi, I am Game Guy. It is time for challenge mode. What is challenge mode, you ask? Well, first off, as per usual, I, well, I don't keep my quick select, but I keep all of my weapons, so, you know, that's pretty cool. So, I'm gonna go ahead and put these back, and then, um, uh, no, 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 no. how did I have these? I don't even remember. I think it was like this, and then like that. Okay. So, challenge mode is different from regular mode, because, obviously, there's more challenge to it. What are the odds? I have my old wrench again. How did that happen? I have no idea. Alright, so, um, those guys... Wait a minute. Can I, like, upgrade these? The, the bars are weird. I don't know. I guess I can, but, uh, you know, obviously I'm pressing buttons wrong all over the place. That's super duper fantastic. You might notice the little multiplier icon under my bolts up on the right. That is a very special thing here in challenge mode, where, um, basically, I'm, me and my friends always called it a bolt plier. It's a horrible pun, I know. And, uh, there we go. I finally upgraded that thing. That only took way too long. Mega Rocket Cannon! Is that what it said? So, uh, I'm- I think it just does more damage. It, wah! You're interrupting me! I was talking about that anyway, so you don't have to explain it. I don't know why there's a second thing. It's like I'm hitting something right here, and I don't know what it is. Man, that's just- it's just weird. Okay, I'm gonna go switch to the, uh, the plasma coil, because that seems like a thing to do. That guy over there, he's gonna die by falling out of the window. We've already seen this, so I really don't know why I'm showing it again. But the point is, um, you get that thingy, the multiplier thing. Oh, well, I'm just upgrading all my weapons right now, apparently. Might as well just keep going. Plasma storm! Yay! What do you do? You seem to just... Oh, I see! You bounce around and you shock everything. That's really sweet. As I get the hiccups. Alright, as I'm trying to explain, um, the, uh, the, the, the bolt applier increases pretty much with every enemy you kill, not, like, exactly every enemy you kill, like, it, it, the higher it goes, the more enemies you need to kill to increase it, so, you know, that sort of thing, and then we get to go to here and look at the protopet, oh, oh, that's cool, oh, hi, Angela, what are you doing here, I don't care, um, so, you know, everything's going pretty sweet. Now, um, this is pretty much exactly why I waited for challenge mode to do all of this stuff, because obviously, you know, I'm getting crap tons of bolts here. I mean, like, seriously, look how many bolts I have already. That's, that's pretty crazy in terms of the amount of voltages I've got going here. My hover bomb's, like, almost completely leveled up already. Dude, that's, like, crazy. Shut up, Angela, nobody cares. Alright, so where was I? I was here, shooting hover bombs at everybody, because that seems like the thing to do. Because apparently these early level enemies are somehow, like, completely destroyed by every weapon I use on them ever. So, uh, you know, that's pretty cool. It's probably gonna upgrade, like, right now? No? Gotta kill one more guy? Gotta kill one more guy? Is that it? Is that it? No? That's not it? How many, how many more of you do I gotta kill? Huh? How many more of you I gotta kill? Okay, there we go. Next up, spider bot glove! <laughs> Tetra bomb gun! Oh, it sends out multiple bombs! That's, that's pretty neat. Alright, can I level up this here spider bot? I did not mean to use that shield. No, I did not. I'm gonna blow you up. You're going to die. And unfortunately, you don't die in one hit, which is just super fantastic, I must say. Wow, you guys don't die in one hit either. Okay, so, you know, this is going pretty well. Are there enemies in here? I do believe there are. Oh, shoot, this is like that last room. Can I upgrade the spider bot in this time? Probably not. I, or maybe I can. I don't know. I blew up the door, so... Who knows? There's still a chance! There's still a chance, Mr. Spider Guy! There's still a chance! I'm basically just doing, you know, the same level twice for no reason whatsoever. Just because it seemed like the thing to do. There we go! See, I made up for it, alright? I made up for it. Tankbot Glove! What does it do? You can, uh, kind of sit here and use it to shoot things, and then it'll explode. It's actually pretty sweet, I, I gotta say. 
That's the part where I jump off, apparently. So, uh, you know, might as well go do that. Anyway, now that I've explained all that <laughs> and upgraded my weapons at the same time, that's pretty, pretty sweet. Not what I intended. Um, let me see. Uh, there was shortcuts. What is this? I wasn't aware this was any sort of thing that existed. That's kind of random. Okay. Speaking of random stuff, what's all this? Spacious Wars! Whoa! Whoa, dude! What's going on? I am a sheep! Whoa! Sheeps are pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot you because I guess that's what I'm supposed to do. Oh, I remember this. This is a, a multiplayer thing. I don't have a friend to play with, so... Okay, that's... That was random, uh, you know, random stuff. Paintings, first person mode. Let's see what that looks like. Whoa, dude! I'm in first person mode. This just became a first person shooter, except not really. Um, I'm gonna turn that off. I don't know why I'm messing with this stuff. You can watch all the movies again. There's skill points. There's cheats. Um, let me just put Ratchet in a tuxedo because that seems hilarious. Ah, tuxedo Ratchet! Yay! All right. So, uh, now that I've done that, I lost all my stuff. That's not very cool. All right. What was I doing? I was going to do something. What items do I have? I obviously still uh, obviously still have the box breaker and uh, the, the, the mapper and uh, everything else. Oh, I, I get to keep all that stuff. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. I don't think there's really anything else worth showing just yet because there's, like, random stuff I haven't unlocked here. Whatnot. I just now remembered, actually, I never showed all that stuff from the first game, so, uh, you know. Um, oh yeah, the Monsterpedia! There were a lot of people asking me about this. Um, you can kind of see all of the enemies in the game and whatnot and all of... Well, I guess I can only see the ones I've encountered here! So, <laughs> that's, of course, pretty cool. So, uh, I can't really look at those yet. I guess I'll have to save that for later. Um... Not much else here, I guess. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Notice how I got basically a hundred thousand bolts in, uh, just this little segment. I don't remember how many I started with. I thought it was like 400,000, but, you know, whatever. Anyway, um, I'm gonna go into post-commentary mode and explain the weapons that are now available to me, which are basically... You know, remember how they had the gold weapons before? Well, now we get the MEGA WEAPONS! Pretty fantastic. You'll see. You'll see. Don't mind me, I'm just a guy in a tuxedo. Alright, so this is what the vendor looks like now. It basically doubles in size because now there's like things everywhere. Well, hello there, I forgot about you. Um, <laughs> MEGA WEAPONS in all caps! Wow, I can buy that for like super cheap. As I recall, you actually, for the old weapons, you can actually get, like, the gold version, so, you know, might as well do that. I mean, well, well you know, <laughs> obviously. The Rhino 2 shows up here, that's interesting. Gonna get the Walloper. Might as well get, like, the super cheap ones. I mean, why, why not? I, I must say, why not? Because if I don't say, why not, I don't know what I will say. I don't. Okay, so, let's see, weapon upgrades. Uh, basically, once you fill up the bar again, you know, the weapon upgrades, just kind of like it did before. Um, the only difference here is that unlike before, it doesn't, you know, have some significant upgrade, it just does more damage and whatnot, and I don't know why I just walked back and forth there for no reason. But, you know, whatever. Let's go kill Pikachu, because that sounds like the fun thing to do. Take that, Pikachu! That was totally worth it. Okay, so yeah, like I said, basically, you just kill everybody, and then the weapon upgrades, eventually. See, there it goes. See, look at that weapon, it upgraded. Hooray! Ultra Heavy Lancer! So yeah, everything just becomes the ultra form, gets more ammo, gets more damage, etc. It's all pretty fantastic, actually. It, it is indeed pretty fantastic. Um, I forget if I mentioned it or not, but uh, the... The old weapons, you can kind of buy their uh, their mega form, which doesn't make any sense. But uh, they don't actually upgrade. I probably mentioned this already, so, you know, whatever. I don't remember if there's anything else to this particular uh, 
recording or not, but, um, you know, it's just me shooting some guys with some weapons that I've got. Oh, wait, I'm going somewhere. Where am I going? What am I doing? I don't... I recorded these ages ago. I don't remember. Oh, you know what? I think I was intending to re explain exactly what I just said. All right, so, yeah, you know. Basically, you just buy the weapons again, and then uh, they upgrade and whatnot. It's pretty fantastic. It is indeed pretty fantastic. All the weapons are obviously very expensive, but since you got that multiplier going, you know, things are going to be pretty easy to get, if I must say so myself. Dang, this shield is, like, amazing. You, you have no idea. Once this shield upgrades, it's, like, almost as broken as the bouncer, really. <laughs> it's crazy. Anyway... Okay, funny guy, let's see what this easter egg is all about. Oh yeah, look, I found some stuff, that's cool. Yay, alright. So, basically, you know, there's this easter egg here. If you equip the dynamo in, uh, you know, Clank's house, I guess, you can use it on the little thing in the, the table, and you can play some little mini-game thing where you shoot space sheeps. Darn those space sheep! I hate space sheep! They're jerks! Also, you can have a player two if you have a second controller and a friend who wants to shoot sheep with you in space. There are too many S's in that sentence, which is why I had a hard time saying it, I suppose. So, this game kind of goes on almost forever, basically. I don't remember what happens if you get hit. I think you just come right back, which is sort of weird. But, um, you know... And it's sort of like a fun little Easter egg in case you wanted that sort of thing. Which, of course you do. I mean, of course you want some fun little Easter egg. It's it's like you wake up Easter morning and then you're all like, Dude, where are those eggs? And then you make yourself an omelet. It's pretty awesome. So, um, that was me dying and showing off that I was pretty much correct that you kind of just don't do anything. I think... Maybe you lost some score. I wasn't really paying attention. Anyway, and then you can break it, and you get, like, a fair amount of bolts for it. It's pretty sweet. Also, um, there's a few things in Slim Cognito Shop I failed to show off. Mostly lots of new colors and everything. Um, I bought everything, obviously, and once you do that, you get a skill point for it. Hooray! Oh, but, you know, that's obviously pretty cool, but, uh, oh, well, I guess I'm going on and buying some stuff. That's pretty cool. Uh, split nose. Don't split your nose. That's not very good at all. It's not good at all. It's gotta hurt, actually. I, I don't even, I don't even know. I guess I'm showing off all of these things. That's not even all of them. I don't have access to all of them yet until I get, I think, one more skill point. So, you know, that's pretty cool. But, um, yes. So, I think, if I don't do it right now, I'm going to show off... Oh, well, I guess I'm showing off all of this stuff. Hey, look at all those cheats! They're pretty cool. And then, um... Oh, I guess I'm not showing anything else? Oh, alright, whatever. Whatever, past self, whatever. Just go to th this place and kill everybody. It it'll be pretty cool, I bet. Gonna fly through space again. In the same episode, multiple times. It's gonna be pretty fun, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Not totally sure, but I am pretty sure. Oh boy, cutscenes, yay! So, um, let's see, I already showed the mines, but, uh, fast-locking missiles, obviously, as their name kind of tells you, they lock on pretty, pretty quick. I don't know where all the enemies are. Yeah, there they go. Yeah, I think it's like twice as fast or something. It's actually pretty nice. I think you get more ammo for them too, I'm not sure. Torpedoes don't lock on, they shoot really fast and they do a lot of damage, and when you get the triple one, you kind of shoot three at once, which makes them rather useful, especially on like bigger targets in that one area that I forget the name of. I almost ran into that meteor, that's pretty cool. I already showed off the mine, so I don't know why I'm kind of using that again, but, you know, whatever. I guess I forgot at the time. Uh, oh, hyperspace warp. Yeah, if you press uh, all the L and R buttons, I think, you just kind of randomly warp to another location on the area. It's pretty cool, but also kind of silly. Anyway, the nuke. 
everybody wanted to see. Basically blows up everything. It, it's it's pretty fantastic. Actually, um, I don't know if I record it or not, but uh, later on you can kind of use that to your advantage and uh, basically blow up everything. Like, I think the next two missions, you can kind of just shoot that thing off right away and then instantly blow up everybody. It's actually a decent bolt grinding method, honestly. So, um, you know, you could potentially do that. It certainly makes these space missions a heck of a lot easier, now doesn't it? I don't know what my problem was with this early on. It's Especially once you get, like, the mines and such, it's really not that bad. I don't know. Frosty, the snowman's gonna wrench you in the face! Okay, so I think in this part I'm doing something in particular. I don't know what. It looks like I'm just throwing this uh, chopper thing at everybody. Oh, and no, it's the multi-star. My bad. The mega multi-star. Mega! So anyway, um, let's see. I'm going to the shortcuts. I figured out what these do. Um... You can use them to basically go instantly to places, and it's pretty cool. So, um, that's basically all I have to say on that matter. Um, yeah. The, the list kind of gets filled up with other similar locations, and that's pretty much it. It just takes you instantly there. Like, you instantly go to the space flying, loading screen thingy, and then it, you just appear there. It, it's kind of funky, but, you know, whatever. It's a nice little shortcut thingy, if you want to use it. I never did, because I kept forgetting it was there, but, you know, whatever. Alright, so one other important thing is, if you go and do the crystals and such, um, you can repair your ship, that's pretty cool, but, uh, everything is multiplied by ten. And when I say everything, I don't just mean the crystals, I also mean, like, all the arena stuff, all the space missions, all the racing missions, everything like that. Including the, uh, moonstones. That's like two million bolts right there. <laughs> and then some. It's crazy. Okay, yeah, um, this is the part where I finally upgrade my health to maximum, and it is pretty cool because there's a skill point for doing that. So, um, I guess we're going to follow me through this area, trying to eventually go ahead and get that darn upgrade, but instead I'm wasting a bunch of time just breaking boxes and stuff. It, it's pretty annoying, actually, because I kind of want you to go and do it. Come on, past self, hurry up! Hurry up! Stop choosing your weapons! Go kill stuff! Come on, that's what this game is about, not just sitting there choosing your best weapon for an occasion. Supposed to just willy nilly throw everything at your foes instead of getting eaten by that big old chompy guy. Whatever the crap his name is. I don't know if they even have names, really. I am not totally sure. Um. I don't know what the point of showing this is other than the fact of showing. Oh, hey, look, a skill point. Amazing. Whoa. I never saw that coming. A skill point in this game? What the heck? And I believe this guy will do it. No? No? His friend will, right? His friend will? Friend? You wanna die? I don't know why that guy over there was bouncing, but, you know, whatever. And, uh, my skill point was interrupted by Vaporizer ammo. Thank you, Vaporizer! You are once again very helpful. Very helpful. Okay, so basically, um, this is kind of my method for getting tons of raritanium. And, uh, you know, basically you just go to the first mission, and you'll notice that there's, like, tons of, uh, like, debris just kind of flying towards the center. Well, you can kind of fly up towards the center and then follow where the debris is coming from, shooting all of it as you go. And, uh, you know, like, each one of those has a chance of dropping something, including raritanium. So, I mean, I've, I seem to find this to be the best method of getting some. I don't know if uh, there's a better method, but, I mean, I, I got enough for all of this within a fair amount of time, so I gotta figure this is a pretty good method. It's pretty solid. So, you know, if you need some raritanium to buy those ship things, this is probably the way to do it. I would certainly recommend it five times. So, let's see, what can I possibly buy today? 
Oh, gee, I wonder what I could possibly... Oh, look, a rhino. I want to rip someone a new one. That sounds hilarious. All right, so the rhino. Basically, it does this. It kind of locks on to everything and activates a cutscene that you can't skip. So, uh, it's pretty cool. Uh, it's important to note, I suppose, the rhino doesn't upgrade. It's already, you know, it, it's as powerful as it's gonna get, so, um, you know, enjoy it. There is one other thing about the Rhino that I'll get to later, but, uh, yeah, that's really all I can say about this, other than it's pretty freaking powerful. <laughs> Obviously. I mean, it's the Rhino, what do you expect? Yeah, I'm shooting myself, good job. Okay, so let me see. What else could I possibly buy? Why am I not wearing that tuxedo skin? I looked pretty snazzy in that. Um, Ratchet, why, why, are, you, why are you cold, Ratchet? Ratchet. Okay, come on. It, it's not that cold, really. It, it's, it's not. Anyway, um, let me see what I can buy today. How about that last armor? Oh, boy. The thing that covers Ratchet's face, it's, it's pretty stupid, actually. It's part of the reason why I'm glad there are skins in this game to wear over it, like the tuxedo guy. Also, uh, the last two weapons, this Zodiac and the Clank Zapper. Now, uh, first and foremost, that skill point is for getting all of the weapons and all of the upgrades, I think. I don't think the Clank Zapper actually counts for that, so you can skip it entirely. But, uh, you know. Anyway, the Zodiac, um, kind of does that. It basically kills everything. And you can kind of see the Clank Zapper working. It, but it's kind of weird, actually. Um, first off, it upgrades. So, it's kind of annoying to upgrade, considering how it works. But I'll get to that in a second, I guess. Yeah, see, look, it, it upgrades. So, um... Good luck with that one, because it's honestly not that great. I guess it's important to note that the Clank Zapper only shows up in challenge mode, so uh, you won't be finding that in the main game if that's what you're looking for. These darn yetis keep messing up my animation. That's not very nice. Alright, so uh, let me see what is next. A grind rail section! Whoa, dude! That's amazing! I seem to be in my boxers. <laughs> What's going on here, Mr. Ratchet guy? Mr. This guy? I don't even know. I'm just grinding on some rails. Okay, so, um, going over here because, uh, the Rhino. The, uh, Rhino has a lock-on mod, which explains where the last platinum bolt needed to go. So, you know, I was right. Basically, everything, all, all the platinum bolts are used. I'm kind of standing here trying to use the lock-on mod on boxes. Can't lock on to boxes. That doesn't work. Not at all. Not a single bit. So basically what the lock-on mod does is instead of just randomly firing at everybody, it focuses on one enemy. Which actually makes it very useful on, like, tougher enemies. Well, you know, I, I guess not really, considering they die so quickly, so really it's not... It's not that useful, but you know. Um, oh yeah, the Clank Zapper. Basically, I've kind of found this to be maybe the best method of doing this, because seriously, this takes way too long to actually, you know, level up. So, um, Clank Zapper basically will just zap things. As far as I can tell, uh, it only zaps things like in front of you. You don't really know when it's gonna run out because uh, it just kind of does it at, r at random, seemingly. It's kind of weird. But, um, yeah, when you see the little green aura around Clank's little thing, yeah, it's gonna zap someone. Anyway, when it levels up, it becomes the Clank Shocker, and um, I'm pretty sure it does more damage, but Clank's eyes also kind of light up, and he shoots lasers of death. Mr. Robot Dude, you've learned well. You have learned well. Okay, so, finally, I figured, you know, why the heck not, let's just show off pummeling the final boss to death, because, you know, obviously, it seems like the thing to do. 
Now you can kind of see why I thought this guy was a pushover. Yeah. He doesn't stand up to the rhino at all. <laughs> it's kind of silly, actually. So, uh, anyway, that is pretty much it. Um, I will see you next time because there is one last thing that's worthy of its own video. So I will see you later. Goodbye.